Sit. Okay. Sit. These two dogs are oil and water. This is arguably the most dangerous session you've ever seen me do. I think it's important that you see this adult dominant unneutered Rottweiler. Prince, adult dominant unneutered Doberman look at each other for the first time right there. Do you see Prince? Prince backed up a little. Prince gave a little bit of give in there. And that starts to create the problem. Okay? He gave and looked away a little bit right there because I called him. So that gave Prince hope. You've seen dominant, unneutered adults come out and you've seen Prince play bow to them. You've seen Prince give in to them. You've seen the other dog give in to Prince. You've seen the other dog, dominant dog, play bow to Prince. Dominance, unneuteredness is not the problem here. The problem is that these two dogs are too alike. And what that does, it's as close to litter, littermate syndrome as you're going to ever see without them being littermates. The problem that happens here is that each time the other one gives in, it gives the other one hope that they can win the battle. And that's what these two dogs want to do. They want to battle it out to see who's top dog because they don't think there's enough room on this property for the both of them. The solution I'm going to get to in this video, you run the show. There is no e-collar answer. There is no treat answer. There is no desensitization answer to it. There is one answer for serious big dog aggression. So now we're going to go to the video where I'm talking to the camera. So this, what you're seeing right now was a month earlier. Now you're going to get to it. This is going to be contentious. They, they, did, a pri they did a private. He met Prince through the fence and they growled at each other. Okay. So this is how to let your dominant dog. He cannot take his head, his giant cinder block head that I can't even put my hand around and slam it into my knee because he wants to get this thing off. That's not the way the world works. That's not what you do to the boss. And you want your unneutered Rottweiler to meet other dogs. He's been in a fight. He has a scar somewhere. He, but he, he's good. He like pins dogs, but he doesn't like bite dogs. Or he pinned a dog, but he doesn't bite them. He's a good boy, but he's an unneutered giant Rottweiler. You think people are walking around ready to have their dog meet your giant Rottweiler who's standing like this, like, what's up, dude? No. So your dog has to be good. Your Big Great Dane, your Connie Corso, your Dogo Argentino, your Rottweiler, your Akita. Can't be mean to dogs. They're too, too big. Okay, come on out. Okay, he's about to meet Prince. We're gonna go short meetings. I call it the five second rule. Fights happen at five seconds, four seconds. They sometimes happen right away. He sees Prince. I don't care that he sees Prince. Okay, where's he going? You want him more work? He just said, I see you. This is a walk. This is what you see on a walk. Your dog sees a dog, it just leaves you. So I walked into him. He finally, I hope it was on camera. I was kind of in your way, but he finally went, oh, oh, this guy's here. Okay. Now he's with me, just like at that door. There's hesitation in him. He needs hesitation if he's about to meet another dog. He needs that in him. He, your dog can never meet a dog without hesitation. I can talk to the camera and do this at the exact same time. I don't care that he wants, he can't just leave me. That's the biggest thing, you guys, for meetings, is your dog thinking they can fly outdoors, fly to the dog, take their leg and take their head, and, and now we have a dog that can meet a dog because my dog has hesitation. And it took three minutes since he saw Prince, but these turns were timed right. Oh, look, now we have a dog who is checking in with me. Now we can meet, we cannot meet. I don't even know if this meeting's gonna go well now, even though he has hesitation. Go ahead and let him say hi. Now we have a chill dog, okay? Now we have stare down, you're a good boy, Prince. You can say hi. You both can say hi. You don't have to say hi, but you can say hi. Okay. What? This is Freestyle Friday. Good, 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 good. 
Good. Call Prince away. Prince. Good. I don't care that these two dogs don't like each other. Let's go. Sit. Call Prince away. Prince, come on. Hey, Prince, chill. Hey, hey, chill, chill. Puck, sit. There's one boss in this mix, and it ain't this guy at this guy, and it ain't this guy at this guy. Both of you. Sit. He cannot sit here and stare at him. He needs to be checking in with me. Good boy. You're too much, bro. You're too much. There's one boss. You want to get your dogs at home? Hey! You want to get your dog? Sit down. They're both too much. So you're seeing the problem and you're going to continue to see the problem. And there is no solution until they understand that you run the show. Look at this stare down. Oh, look at his tail. You're gonna see a lip lick from him and watch his tail go down the exact same time as the lip lick, right about in a second. Look at this right there. Lip lick, tail went down in conjunction with the lip lick. Interesting body language. Look at this stare down. They're, in, they're figuring out if the other one is going to look away, is gonna back down at any point and neither of them will. Oh, Prince looked away. Okay, then he comes in. Who starts this thing? I don't know, but it's after this stare down I realized I don't care. It's been three fights up to this point. I let them stare down because I wanted to see if they could figure it out on their own. They can't, so I'm over it. I am over them. I run the show. I don't care who they think is dominant between them. Okay, so I let the stare down happen. Maybe they have to establish some sort of between the two of them to ever get them together. They have to figure it out. Okay, we can't let them figure it out, right? It's, it's just, you can't do it. Someone's going to the vet if we let them figure it out. So then what, how, where do we go from here? We can't let them figure it out, which is the only way to fix this. No, it's not the only way. There's another way. They can't figure it out, which is the natural way. Okay, it's the wild way. To some degree, it's the way. The only other way is they don't care who's the, I, I let it go because I wanted to see and just, if someone looks away, then you've got a winner, right? If there was no winner, it was a draw. I'm the boss. It doesn't matter what they think about each other. It doesn't matter what these two dogs think of each other. So I let that go, right? I let the stare down go. You're a good boy, you're a good boy but I am the freaking boss here. So I don't let that stare down happen. I don't let that stare down ever happen. I let it happen to show you. That's what staring does. What you just saw, down. Now look at these two dogs. I got serious. I didn't let the stare happen. Now, are they best friends? No, but there's one in the mix that is the boss of everything because the energy changed and I didn't let the staring happen. Don't let the staring happen. I think I said that earlier than I let it happen because I wanted to show you and I was like, okay, maybe they can figure it out between them. When one looks away and walks away, we have a winner. Okay? There was no winner. So I'm the winner and they're the losers because they can't handle. If they're in the wild, someone gets pinned and someone wins and the other falls in line or not or something worse happens, but this ain't the wild. This is a home where there's a person, a, a mom and a dad, their dogs can't fight. So you're the boss, I'm the boss. And then you get this, but your energy has to change and you have to be serious. You gotta act like I've acted with this guy and like I've been with this guy raising this guy, that I'm the boss. And now you have dogs that can be together, sort of, Okay, that's a first step. And eventually it's together, together. But we need more time. This guy got here yesterday. Okay. Okay. But they can't, now they could possibly be together because, because I'm the boss. But we need, we, we, we need 
tomorrow. We need more time, right? I can't do everything in 15 minute video. It's too dangerous, stakes are too high. You at home, if your two dogs are fighting, you have days. Baby gates, together, okay? Now, their comfort level at this point, I'm not on guard. Now, what do you think, what do you think is the, the what, are, what are they gonna do that gets me to start to step over here to give this guy a correction if he goes that way? It's the stare. When that stare happens, we gotta be careful. How about a quick movement? How about if he just pops up? I gotta worry about him. How about if he just pops up? I gotta worry about him. It's the stare, it's quick movements. Everything else is good. Nothing's gonna pop off from perfectness. It's, it never really works that way, okay? Okay, that's the video. We got them together, sort of. There's no muzzles, there's leashes. The leashes, by the way, weren't used. They were loose most of the time. So they can be, leashes can be used when they're loose. They can't be used when the dog's choking themselves, pulling. That's where leashes get a bad name. We have to use them for safety, but when dogs are choking themselves, both of them pulling towards each other, that's when it's bad. If they're not doing that, hey, remember what I said? You saw the stare, you saw the ears change, you saw him stare, that's when it gets bad. So dad's in the mix, yelled, got him out of it, got out the stare, good boys, you're good boys, you both are good boys. That's it, subscribe to the channel. You're good boys. Good, 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 good boys. Good boys. Good boys. Good, that was so good. Then verbal praise from the boss.